Anthem for a Doomed Youth by Wilfred Owen. Overview. Tonight he noticed how women's eyes passed from him to strong men that were whole. The true horror of the trenches it brought to life in this section of poetry from the front line. Review. I freely admit that I'm not the most well-read when it comes to poetry. I view it much like music or visual arts. If I enjoy it, then I like it. Owen definitely hit the sweet spot for me. Owen is a prominent World War I poet who is not outright anti-war, but his writings are that which does not glorify war at all. One of his most famous poems is likely Dulce de Decorum Est, which has the Latin phrase, it's glorious for one to die for his country, in a satirical sense. My absolute favorite one was called The Letter, and Owen does an amazing emotional story in one page. He takes a dual conversation structure with one, he's writing a letter to his wife to make his daily life some banal and everyday struggle as if he were home with her. And with the other, he's experiencing a call to get ready for battle and the aftermath. It is a pretty emotional story. As with any other poet, uh, there will be some that hit, some that miss, and it depends on your mood, interest, and focus on the material. A front lines look at the poet in the heart of of it during the Great War, and it shows the valuableness of the medium and the agony of war. And I would highly recommend uh, Stephen Rose's uh, wonderful uh, take on this in uh, the Anarcho Christian podcast that he did that will be linked below. Final grade, A minus. <laughs>